Yo, what's up? It's your weed homie, Justin. And today I get the opportunity to show you some Tangeray by Lemonade. Yesterday we went through Sacramento. We checked out Lemonade, which is in Northern Sacramento. Was a little bummed on the product selection and what I was able to buy, because I wanted to buy a lot more. Um, but at the end of the day, this Tangeray made it all worth it. I'll be completely honest. I am a big sativa guy, and this Tangeray knocked it out of the park for me. I smoked this at the, the end of the video yesterday and it just absolutely like gave me a, that kind of like real talkative buzz, just like happy, ready to chop it up, ready to talk with the homies. So I cannot recommend this stuff more. So these buds, look at them, they are light, fluffy, really lighter color versus with a lot of like indica strains that I see that'll have like panes of purple coming through and stuff like that. This is just a straight up really light green with orange uh, hairs all over it. And the smell of this, it's really unique that this is like, I'll say a lot of strains can have like a little bit of a citrus smell to them, but what this has is like, literally like, if you cracked open like the rind of limes and lemons together, there's like that, there's like that sharp citrusy with that bitterness that you get of the peel of it, right? And then there's little hints of sweetness in there too with it which makes sense. So Tangeray is the cross of lemonade with a uh, cactus cooler, which, so I was doing some digging on weed maps and Leafly and I couldn't find that much on lemonade actually for like dominant terpenes or anything like that, but on cactus cooler, the, the dominant terpene there is terpenaline, which is known to be kind of like a sweet, almost woody scent to it. And I can get the sweetness and no, there's no woody here. It's really dominated by that citrus smell. But some interesting things about terpenaline is it is, the medical studies that I looked up and I, I actually did an article in the weed library about it showed that it helped with anxiety and a lot of people use terpenaline to um, take care of inflammation. Uh, you know, I'm no doctor, so don't get it twisted. And these studies, they still need more. There needs to be more data, more official word to come out about terpenes, cannabinoids, and how they help people. But there's a lot of anecdotal data that they really help. And my experience with this yesterday was that it, it helped a lot with my anxiety that normally keeps me quiet, keeps me kind of like recluse. Took that away. I was ready to jab it up, talk, you know, like after having a couple beers where you just you just relax and you open up and you start talking. That's what I got after sm off of just smoking half a joint of this. So if you are gonna like, if you're about to go out or you have an active day, this would be an ideal weed that I would recommend for, you know, like a wake and bake or before you're about to go out with the homies. Cause this is some tasty weed and it just, I was really, really happy with the high. Um, so I'm gonna grind some up and we'll do a little, little taste test and let you know. Uh, I had it with the joint yesterday, so mixing it with the hemp papers, it could kind of, you know, add a little bit of better, bitter taste to it and I don't get the full flavor of just the weed. So I'm excited to try right now is, is with the bong. Um, getting just that clean, just with water, pure flavor of, of smoking the flower. The people at, at Cookies yesterday, super nice. All the people that, that were working there were super nice. Um, it was unfortunate that we weren't able to get to film and interview some of those guys, but hey, that's just how it is sometimes. So maybe another time we'll be able to get in there, actually schedule a time to go do an interview and show you guys around the shop. That'd be really cool. Cause they had a, a pretty killer display. I like how they display their weed, make it so you can smell everything, look at it just on your own, instead of like having it on the shelf far away from you. Like their layout of how they have lemonade in Sacramento is killer. Yeah, this is that strong, like, like I said, the rind of the lemon or lime is, I'm excited to taste this. Nice clean hit, no heat on the back of the throat. Definitely has been cured right. Clean flavor. Yeah, yesterday when I was smoking that joint, I was like, man, this is kind of bitter. But I, you know, it's probably from the hemp paper that I rolled it in that I got that like bitter aftertaste. Cause this weed is 
clean. The smoke is like puts a smooth film on my my tongue and in my mouth. Super tasty. And like I said, the the high that I experienced yesterday isn't one of those ones where you smoke weed and you just sit there with your mouth open in a corner with like heavy breathing. This was it actually like really made me feel active. I went ahead and got a couple hours work done after I had smoked. Um, so I couldn't recommend it more for those people that are looking for a weed that really you're gonna stay active on. You're gonna go out and do your day or you're gonna clean the house, you know. This is some tasty bud. Uh, comparing, last week I did the review on uh, Fields Family Farms and their lemon cherry gelato and their mimosa. Um, their lemon cherry gelato, I would still put higher, but this is definitely, on the sativa scale, I like this better than the mimosa I smoked last week. So, pretty tasty. I'd give that easily like a 4.5 out of five nugs. Um, there's been some times where I've had some things that had like a, a louder flavor on my mouth with the smoke, but I, I'm not complaining at all. I'm super happy with this eighth that I picked up. Uh, Tangare, if you guys get a chance, try it out. And then uh, go ahead and stay tuned. Tomorrow we are going to be testing out the indica. I got this fruit land. Here's a little sneak peek. This fruit land actually looks fire. Super frosty nugs. Um, but when I do these test tests, I like to take a day apart between tastings so that I can really get unhigh and give the weed uh, the test or the taste that it's due. But if you look at these super frosty big old nugs, um, yeah, so we'll be back tomorrow to do that. Thanks.